Hey, how you doing, Dirty Back with you once again, and uh, continue our Let's Play of the Deadly Tower of uh, Monsters. Of course, uh, last time we made our way up the tower a little bit. Uh, we're now at this kind of little section, and we do have we do have this little upgrade area here. So let's uh, let's check this out because we, we didn't look into it last time. So we have the option of upgrading our energy weapons or our melee weapons. Uh, well, we don't have any golden cogs, so we won't be upgrading any of these uh, ranged weapons because we need at least one of those. We can upgrade our space baton, though. Can we? Yes, two and one. Yes, so let's upgrade our space baton. And, of course, now we're at the point where we need a gold cog to actually do any more upgrades. So... That's what we'll be doing. So we do have our new space baton here. Uh, we do have a sleep chamber here if we want to switch to Scarlet Nova, the heroine, for a little story. I slept inside uh, one of these glass huts. Let's pick up some gold. We do have a blue cog here. Let's go grab that. And let's make our way up the deadly tower of uh, monsters. Okay. Oh no! Oh no! This head belonged to my co-pilot robot. He was the most loyal companion in the galaxy. I Look, bet he was. Tick. Malfunction. Tick. Malfunction. Don't you hate it when that happens? Gravorians will pay dearly for this, my friend. Now, what's a space adventure film without a trusty robot sidekick, huh? Am I right? In the original draft, we had Dick and Scarlet team up with an alien from the planet's surface. You know the type, pointy ears, wise and emotionless. Uh, but then we came to our senses and realized that a giant tin can robot's way cooler. That's right. Besides, everybody was pointy doing ear, the alien logic driven thing robot back then. or you know species. Me? No one I would ever watch something like that is. Okay. Ow! Just got a club in the head. And that guy just got eaten by a worm. Come and get me! Come and get me! Ooh, he got hit by his buddy. I guess he wasn't really his buddy. Buddy. Ooh, flame. Let's go smash some pots because that's what you do in a game like this. And, uh, yeah. Let's not use our hands to control this lever. Let's hit it with our space baton. Because that's what you do. Okay. Is there anything interesting down here? There's a, there's a thing. Can we get this thing? There is a silver cog. Okay. I've always wanted a silver cog. Okay, this stairs should... St oh, st stairs should not be this hard to navigate. Stairs. Stairs. Okay. So I just hit that C in the recover. So, okay. Okay. Stairs. One stair. No. Two stair. Okay. Two. Three. Okay. So we, we've made it halfway. We don't want any. Okay. Four. Well, that was a little bit more complicated than it needed to be. We don't have a Tesla gun. Ooh. Zap zappy. Uh, of course we can't upgrade that because we don't have any gold cogs. I climbed up here because I saw something shiny on the side of the tower. It's probably that cog that we picked up. Uh, we can change our equipped weapons with this station. Yeah, they have like three different types of stations. They have like these stations, these stations, and the level up station. Like there's a whole bunch of different types of stations, so... I don't know. I don't know if they, they probably the could have combined all those, those stations. But after our actors fell off the I am not the months. game designer. It's Granted, only my two cents. Off, even with and I only paid four bucks for this game, so I will accept the game as it is. We were no longer liable for their injuries. Can you come out to space water? Oh, I'm stuck against the collision detection here. Uh, okay, and what is this? This is our upgrades. So, see, okay, so I have had issue. With, well, I don't know if it's an issue, but I get to this and I'm like, okay, so I've I've hit level one, and how do I li hit level two? Like, there's no explanation. So, anyway, I guess we won't be doing anything there. 
That's fine. Hello, Mr. Monkey Man. The great Mega Gorilla used to protect us. Now he serves the Emperor. That's well, unfortunate. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I guess it's time to talk about the elephant in the room. There's an elephant in the room? Why on earth does this crazy film have title cards on screen when people are talking? Talking about the subtitles. You're thinking that, aren't you? Not really. I know you are. I would be, too. Well... We had thought about making it a silent film at one point, so we shot a lot of scenes up close like this, with the dialogue written out for the audience to read. Well, when we swapped over to making a talkie, well, we just decided to keep on going rather than reshooting all those scenes. Ooh, there's a target here. Stop. Good shot. Great save. No, I don't. Stop aiming down. Aim for the beholder. There we go. Lots of choppy worms. Oh, more space invaders. Ow. Ow. My pointy chin. Like, that flame just went through this platform. That's that's not good science. That's not good science at all. Ooh, just did a somersault. Okay, I like the Tesla gun. Ooh, I should actually try aiming at this guy. Might work a little bit better. Might help us out. We'll see. So yeah, I mean, this is part of the game I've played through before, so you're, you're going to see me kind of cruising through things. You're going to see me pick up some stuff that might not be obvious. More enemies. But uh, we're not that far, actually, from where I stopped playing shortly after I got the robot, so... Seriously, I have to aim down. Oh, that's not good. Ow. Ow. Too many beholders. Too many beholders. I am beholding to them. Stay back. Stay back. Oh, and they explode. Oh, ow. 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 And then I keep saying ow. Best part about being in showbiz. Craft services. That's true. It's like never-ending supply of free food all day long. These guys look like the uh, the lizards meal. from uh, Land of Lost. Hey Patrick, that I was voiced by Nimoy, wasn't do that here in your studio. The bad lizard from Land of Lost. Bad lizard Maybe person. Even just Looks like it was Nimoy. I could be wrong about that. It's been a while since I see that. I've seen that film. But gold, it's a gold change. Okay, we can't go up. Oh, these folks were hiding. Door to the engine room. Okay. Apparently there's an another target somewhere. Seriously? Yeah. So you can see what I was saying earlier about having to do these shooty down sequences. They're okay, I'm just not a super big fan of them. They had them show up a little bit less. I think I would like that a little bit better. But that's only my opinion. It's not like I gave them neck frills or had them spit poison or anything ridiculous like that. See what's in here. What is this? No, we don't want to switch our weapons. We want to do that. What is this? It's a mace. Okay. Sp or morning star. Sorry. Space morning star. Please stay back, human. I must keep this wheel turning. If I stop, the tower will be destroyed. So why don't you just stop? That would. That would. Stop it! Stop it, monkey man! You would shorten this game so much if you would just stop turning. Fine. What about you? What do you have to say? I will take my brother's place when he collapses, and another will take my place when... It's so sad. Tragic backstory. Now, 
If you're the replacement, if I get rid of you, then the tower should be destroyed. I guess not. There's a skull up here. What's up here? Again, it wants us to do upgrades, but we haven't picked up any gold cod, so... The next lot to ours was filming we're some not going to do anything with that. Transylvania. So we signed a soft contract with them to use their set after they wrap for the day. And by that, I mean we kind of snuck in and filmed it real quick when no one was looking. <laughs> I had my assistant Phyllis keep a lookout for the security guard. There's another thingy there. Okay, so we got some more monkeys. We have the old Tesla gun here now. I think I like the Tesla gun in terms of a ranged weapon. Seems to hit multiple enemies at the same time. Two lizards one time. Blue Cog. Okay. Blue Cog. We go with Blue Cogs. I just need a gold one. It's not the Blue Cogs I have an issue with. Okay. I don't know why the music's cut out. Hopefully it comes back. Come back to me, music. Come here, lizard man. Dick smash. What way is one? Enemy is coming from below. Below me. What's a problem? more enemies? Where are these circle things? Can I jump through those? Can I jump through those hoops? This may be the biggest mistake, but we do have a checkpoint nearby, so I'm going to try jumping through these hoops. What's this? Rings! Oh, I missed one. Hoopster. Two out of twenty. There's one more. Let's go for it. Whoa! There we go. Cool. I felt like Sonic there for a moment. I hear something big kind of thunking. We got some more squids. Not sure if they're a squid or they're a kid. Oh, suddenly switch back to the stick for some reason. I'm okay with that. The mace was interesting, but. I actually did an upgrade to the stick, so we'll use that. Oh, there's a there's a dome over here. Polly Shore, eat your heart out. Viva la biodome. Latin mines. Okay, so this is kind of the the Metroidy part of the game that I've been talking about. So we hey, picked up days, a, or we got a new ability. Really it. So we can lay down these saucers, things now and but we these, can open up new paths. Um, deflating. Rock, boulder, cubes, ah, not their best work. It you? just looks kind of odd, you know, if you ask me, like the new giant whoopee cushions. Hey, they said they could add some debris and explosions or two afterwards, and then we ran out of budget. Well, well to be fair, don't we you hate it when you run out of budgets? Times, but still, I guess I got to put one down here. Sleep over these rocks. Oh, here it comes. Lots a lot of sleep over the sleep over the rocks. Well, it's unfortunate. Okay, so what did this actually do? We have some more hoops. Should we try to jump through the hoops? Whoa! Completely whiffed on that. I think we got to be a little bit higher. Okay, so we'll go back because we did see some rocks that we could blow up. We'll go get our rocks off. Enemies coming from below again! Psyduck. Psyduck. Zappy zappy! Zippity zap. Zippity doo dap. Why can't we use this gun all the time? This gun never seems to run out of shots. Okay. Here we go. Shatner roll! Shatner roll! Shatner roll. 
drop a brick. Baboom! There we go. Deflating rocks. Number two. Okay, who is number two's boss? Ooh, wait, ooh. Don't fall off the tower. Please and thank y'all. It's a giant fist. Okay, here we go. Shatner roll! Alright, we're awesome. Speed me, Seymour. We first tried this one with regular logs. Well, that was disastrous. Oh, this, this, is, this you, might be a disaster. Never yet. mess with physics. It was kind of, well, to be frank, it started out nice, but then, uh, well, it was a death trap. Just plain and simple, it was a death trap. Poor kid holding the boom almost broke his leg. Guess he played basketball in college or something. Shut and roll. Ah! At the last second. No. Woo. Crisis averted. My props guy wanted to swap them with some no. spongy material for safety, but I had a better idea. Let's set the logs on fire. Ah. Then the crew will be that. sure to be safe dealing okay. with them. Let's wait for the fist to take these guys out. Shatner roll! There we go. It only works if you shout Shatner roll with all your heart. Otherwise, the game knows that you're not taking this thing seriously and will toss you off the deadly tower of monsters. Again, I'm gonna let the fists take care of them. Gonna fist these white monkeys. Come on, white monkeys. Okay. Shatter rule! There's an arrow tossing monkey. Say, you know what I was thinking? With all this jumping and climbing and jumping. Wouldn't this make a great video game? That's a ridiculous Isn't that notion. What all those video games are about jumping around. Well, yeah, and killing. There's jumping too, but mostly the killing. What? Patrick, that's awful. Why is this What sort of glowing? example are we setting for our use? Well, movies are pretty violent too. Okay, so I'm on top of this. Everything in sight. You had Dick shooting Did a dinosaur in the face in the first five minutes. There's, uh, what well, if I shoot Patrick, it? What if I try to hit it? You know, it does nothing. We did on film. Well, that crap. Now I'm going to have to do a shot and roll. Ah! Aren't art. Now we're just sucking. Okay, here we go. All right, here we go. We're going to do it. We shall shot and roll our way into victory. We'll electrify, electrify the plants. Shot and roll! There we go. Shot and roll! It's the only way to do it. I'm telling you. Shout with all your might and heart and brain. Like the Mary Ellen Carter Rise Again. There's a reference for you. Good old Stan Rogers. The original Canadian Idol. You have no idea who Stan Rogers is, he was a Canadian folk singer who did a lot of classic folk songs. He died at a very early age. Which was kind of unfortunate. Because he captured the essence of, of Canada in song. Ooh, I have a space shiv. I have a knife! I will knife everybody! I will knife you with dick. Okay. Uh, so we do have a gold cog now. Uh, I like the Tesla. Nikola's Dream. Ooh. That's sexy. Let's upgrade to Nikola's Dream. So it's more of a rifle now. Okay. Temple's Altar. We are being punished for not doing our work. 
It's too late for us. Save yourself. Escape this plant. Well, I was trying Funny to destroy the tower, the but your, your two buddies wouldn't, uh, wouldn't stop turning the wheel. wrapped up filming on the set. Then we spent the next day doing a location shoot. So, suffice it to say, our return to the studio was met with a couple of grumbling tummies complaining about unsafe work conditions, human rights, yada, yada, yada. Oh, we're not. Oh, no. Oh, this, no, that didn't go well. Okay. Wait for it to pass. Okay, here we go. Seriously? I'm coming for you, lizard dude. Two lizard dudes. I hey Patrick, I was gender. thinking we should take a little break and get a bite to eat. You like Chinese? Look at Dick flail about. I know a great takeout. Well, we're not scheduled for a break for another few hours. Nonsense. Hey, you have to try the oh, shrimp and see absolute best, but. Oh, hey, uh, I feel like I should okay. warn you. Let's pound the squid with our, with our knife. <laughs> but that's okay, we're Cog friends, here. right? Uh, really, sir, studio time costs can, a fortune. Can, oh, Let's just stay on Can I get up here? Yeah. Good thinking. We could grab a real dinner together and Maybe go out for jump a on night on the town. Yeah. What? <laughs> Two young I guess I'll have to approach it from above. Say, I'll have to jump down from somewhere else, days. I guess. I don't know. Mysterious cog. Take that squid and that. Have at thee. Seriously, like, how many nephews did this producer have? I just picked up a blue cog. You know, this we'll go beat our monkeys here, our white monkeys. In Hollywood, or even made the budget back for that matter, but. Hey, in the end, oh, it's a blob. I think it was still worth making just for those die-hard fans that really love it. I attended a lot of sci-fi and movie cons, and to this day, I still see fans showing up dressed as aliens and apes and dinosaurs. <laughs> Does a man proud? Dick, you suck Santa with the shit. Their costumes aren't exactly 100% face. It's kind of hilarious to watch you, though. And it seems that no one ever remembers them by the right name. But still, knowing that we still have fans like this promoting the film decades later, it puts a tear in this old director's eye. I get all emotional. Okay. Dude's got a snotty nose. Okay, what's oh? They actually made landfall. Wham and bam! Now here's some real action. That's right. Nothing like an adrenaline boost to get our hero to really start wailing on those monsters. Oh, he got the adrenaline. We were boost. unsure how to represent a surge of adrenaline at first, but I think we nailed it. Yep, definitely nailed it. Ah, oh, Tony and his insistence on lens flare. I tell you, some days it felt like he was trying to be the director. <laughs> Honestly, you could see, see the dust thumbprint on the lens. So, ah, just go and wipe it off myself. He would get so upset Shut about roll. it too. Like Shut my roll. fingers aren't clean enough to wipe the lens. Don't touch the lens. Uh, whatever. All right, so we made it to another checkpoint, so I am going to wrap things up there. Hey, if you like what you're seeing with the series, think about liking the video, think about subscribing to the channel. We'll see you next time as we play The Deadly Tower of Monsters. Take care. We'll see you next time.